Hello everybody, my name is Rojo and welcome back to Shining Force CD Book 2. Done a little bit of inventory management. Just to uh, give uh, you know people some various things that we picked up. And uh, if we wanted to, we could get crazy and equip Luke. <laughs> With this evil claw we picked up and put him over 80 attack. Um, as mind-blowingly awesome as that is, I think he's going to start missing a bunch of attacks. When maybe we would prefer that he didn't if we do that, so... I'm, uh, I'm not going to equip him with it, uh, but we are going to get on to this next battle. We're uh, we got to be getting real close to the end of this book here. What an enormous shrine! Quite. Keep looking. Wait. Listen. I hear them up ahead. Ah, the Cypress Army. How far you've come. That voice, I've heard it before. Bum bum bum! I am me? I was Cypress' former Ambassador Waldol. Oh, it's you! <laughs> no, it can't be! Waldol died! You're absolutely correct. After defeat and death, my soul couldn't rest. I've come back from death to let you feel my pain and suffering. How spooky. All right, well, it seems like we've got a, got a, a little bit of work to do here. We're going to have to slap Waldo around once again and make sure he stays dead this time. Got a uh, bit of a tighter map than uh, what we've seen in the past battle. And uh, nothing too new, except for maybe that wyvern up there. So we'll just see if anybody has anything particularly interesting with you in your evil ring. Waldo himself. Oh, he's got the light sword. Very interesting. Are we going to get to make the Chaos Blade again? Probably not. But, nonetheless, uh, why does he have that, for one? <laughs> And two, he's got question marks for HP and MP and Freeze 3. He's, uh, he's gonna be scary. We might lose some people here. Got another Buster shot on, uh, on that guy. On all these guys, actually. Let's see, and then we've got you. Yeah, just a Wyvern, nothing crazy there. Look at, that, look at the reflection on that, uh, that chest there on the floor. Very smooth. Anyway, moving along. Uh, looks like the rest of these guys, maybe nothing too terribly special here, so let's uh, begin the fight, shall we? I guess we'll start on, I want to start on this left side, and uh, we'll, we'll work our way back around, I guess. Uh, we actually could use you to stick you right about there, and let's do... Ooh, we'd actually do like a big boost if we wanted to. That might be fun, sure. It's probably like a ton of XP as well. Why not? Maybe we'll get some decent turn order out of this, we'll see. Yeah, 25 XP, sure. Why not? We'll take it. Okay. Uh, that is an archer guy, so we don't want to get too close to him. In fact, I think I'm going to stick you over here. And then we'll just keep moving people over. Might have moved her too close, actually, but luckily we're not going to get punished for that. <laughs> I mean, with the boost in effect, I guess we uh, we don't have too much to worry about from one shot from one of these guys on anybody, really, uh, who's boosted, but still. Don't want to play too terribly sloppy here. Uh, yeah, you can uh, go ahead and return fire. That sounds fine. Come blam. 
And you... Damn it. <laughs> so close yet so far. Just couldn't quite make it over there, but I'm still going to stick him right there, I guess. Ooh, and you're in range. Interesting. A little bit of damage there, but that's alright. We do have Yaha equipped with the Axe of Atlas now. So you can drop Blaze Threes uh, basically on a whim. And uh, you can't quite make it, but this will at least get you participating in the, uh, the battle here. And yeah, you're not even close. He's just too slow. <laughs> we need another Turbo Pepper. Uh, Alright, I did give uh, the Sword of Darkness to, uh, or the Dark Sword, I guess, to Diana. so I guess we can have a little fun with it. Ooh, we got him! <laughs> Nicely done. Alright, I'm gonna have her come up and just bonk this guy. We should be able to kill him before he gets to go. Well, maybe that was a bad idea. I guess a Hell would have done slightly more damage, maybe. Uh, does the Evil Claw do anything? Doesn't look like it. Um, that's okay, though. We'll just smack him. Hiya! Nice crit. Hey, level 12. Oh, thank goodness. Detox level 2. Where would we be without that? I... <laughs> I will we might even try casting it just for fun. Oh, also, before I forget, um... I want to just make sure there's no more secret characters that I have to worry about. <laughs> I kind of forget. Uh, so give me one sec. All right. Um, yeah, we're, we're all set. Just uh, had to double check that. Didn't want to miss anybody. But uh, I don't believe we are going to find any other secret characters in the uh, the playthrough. Given how, uh, how far we are in at this time. Uh, there's not that many guys here. It's fine if, I, if we move him up a bit farther, I think. And we can do the same with you, actually. Do the same with you. And uh, everybody else in turn here. So, I should actually try and pay attention to how many turns Waldo's getting here. Because if he gets double turns, two freeze threes to the, to the face... We'll kill some of our guys, for sure. So uh, we need to be a little bit uh, cautious of that, especially with the Demon Master over there as well. Because uh, we could we could eat a lot of magic damage very, very quickly if we're, uh, if we're not careful. Yeah, it looks like he does get double turns, so... He's going to be a bit tricky to take out quickly, unless maybe we can get a lucky uh, dispel on him or something, but I'm not... <laughs> I'm not holding my breath on that. Right. Uh, yeah, you can actually debate. That's fine. I guess I should be using some of my magic just to get the free XP on the healers, but still, yeah. I think actually if I put you right about there, put you right about there, we'll be okay. Who's swearing off? Uh, that's okay, though. We'll stick you actually over on this side. Okay, he's moving over a little bit. You're moving over. Gonna go after uh, Musashi there. Ooh, ow! <laughs> There's a bit more damage than I was expecting. Uh, let's see what we can do about that. Uh, I think you're actually gonna be fine if we put you here. Fifteen damage, fifteen XP. We will take it. You're still too slow, unsurprisingly. <laughs> I guess I could have used him to heal there, but uh, I want to hang on to my healing seeds if I can. Uh, just because I don't know if we're gonna get to uh, ever see another shop again. So, yeah, we, uh, we may need those for emergency purposes in the upcoming fights. Ooh, a heavy hit, one damage. How dare you! You're not moving. Interesting. Alright, let's think about what we're doing here. I think best bet, since you can't 
get to there. I'm going to have you go after this guy. It's a clean hit, I would say. And you're going to actually go up and go after this guy. Ooh, didn't quite get him, though. All right, so he's he is going to stay back there. That's good. And uh, we did draw the Chimera down as well, by the looks of it. Uh, so good, yeah, you can come over here. I We do need to get a heal off on, uh, on Musashi there, but I'm going to get one of these guys killed first. And uh, you, I th think, will attack... Yeah, we could actually, probably, if we did a bolt here, we could hit so close. But we could finish that guy off and hit the other guy, so I guess we'll do that. Hey, level 13. Not much of a level, but every, every little bit helps, I guess. All right, now you gotta come up, and uh, you're gonna have to do the heal on him. Is it? I don't know if anybody else is gonna be able to get in range. And if we're lucky, maybe Slade can do a boost to help us out. Hey, level ten. Oh, nice. Or a level two. That's gonna be really useful. Uh, yes, we can actually. So if we go here. Do a boost level two. I think actually that's the only way we're going to be able to get Musashi in the boost. So yeah, we'll do one right here. We're probably going to get shot a couple times here. But this should um, give us enough juice to survive, I think. Hey, level 13. And uh, we recovered 1 HP. Very nice. Uh, okay. She wasn't in the boost, so we do need to be somewhat cautious with how we uh, we handle this. She still only has freeze 2. Um, she could definitely kill that guy. I do have concerns about the Chimera. But she does have 36 HP, she's probably not going to die. And I am actually just going to use a Blaze 3 here. I want to make sure this guy eats it. Blaze 2 probably would have done it. And we get another level out of that, which is nice. Alright, and now we can move you over here to maybe provide some blocking or even go after that guy. I think I'm going to have him body block this Chimera, though. And uh, we'll use the Axe of Atlas here. A little bit of chip damage on him. Since uh, we can't quite reach. Although the Chimera could probably fly over that statue now that I think about it, so... <laughs> Maybe not really accomplishing quite as much as I had hoped there. Um, You're just going to sit back over here, I think. That's tempting, but also very dangerous. I'd like to see if I can convince one of them to come out, or if, I don't know if they're just going to stand there or what. Uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, attack this guy. He's right there, so you may as well. And you're just going to foolishly shoot at Diana, the, <laughs> the unkillable uh, hero. <laughs> It's going to take a few turns to, to get through 50 HP when you're only doing one damage. Okay, they are moving a little bit. Alright, now we've got the Chimera blocked off. And now uh, we will shoot him. Kaboom! And you're still too slow. We will move you over here instead. Give you a head start so maybe you can catch up. Mm 
Yeah, he can fly over the statue, so good thing we got uh, somebody in the way there. There we go. Down he comes. Ooh, but it, he dodged. That's good. All right. Uh, I think we'll have you. See, I don't want to get any closer to that demon master, so I don't think I'm gonna. I'm gonna have you stand right there. Just finish this guy off. I think that's our, our safest option at the moment. Okay. And then you... We'll, uh, we'll see if we can get another cheeky soul steal in. Nope. Worth a shot. And it looks like uh, the, the Dark Sword was starting to break there as well. So I uh, do need to be a little bit wary. I think actually I'm going to have you come over here and just whack this guy. And I'm going to have you come over and also just whack this guy. Except way harder. And you... This might get him. Yes, just barely. Probably want to save some of this magic for the end game here, but uh, we still got a couple casts left at least. I'm actually gonna have you come over here, and uh, well, actually no, I think we'll be okay over there. So you can come by and, and shoot this Tauros instead. And then you... I think we will have you... Cast Detox Level 2. <laughs> What's the difference between Detox... Oh, I see. Detox 2 can be cast at a longer range. <laughs> okay. Hooray! <laughs> what a waste. Alright, yeah, you definitely come over here and smack this guy. Hiya! Alright, now... I feel like these Doros or Dun Dullums or whatever they are are going to be resistant to freeze magic. And I don't know if these souls going to work either. I'm going to do a bolt here instead. And that should get him in range to be killed by whoever can get over there in time. Uh, I think we're, we're, I'm actually going to have you hang out down here. In fact, I guess you can do it. Oh, maybe I should have had Gion do it, but I don't know if he would have gotten the turn order. Level 12. All right, you can definitely make it up there. But uh, I'm going to move you over here instead. And we can move you up. And we'll have you check that chest. Yep, here they come. This is uh, this is going to hurt a bit. But good that it came down now, by itself. Oh, wasn't quite expecting that, actually. Should have moved him just a little bit farther away. It's alright, though. This might not be quite all, as alright. Gonna have to get somebody over there to do some healing real quick. Uh, let's see. You definitely need to come over here and start whacking this Demon Master. And then I guess you can you can stay over here with him. But you're gonna move over. Um, you I guess just keep just keep using your blazes. I guess it's fine. Doesn't really much matter. All right. Uh, yeah, you. 
I think I think with Chester we can get that guy, so I'm gonna move you over to attack this wyvern. And unfortunately we're gonna be just a little bit too far away to be able to heal um Musashi there, rush, whatever. Hey, we got the evil ring. That's uh another like blaze two item, I think. This does free you up, actually. Come down and uh, shoot this guy to death, probably. I guess I should should have maybe considered healing some people as well, but I don't know. I guess it, well, no, it's better to get get these enemies out of here while we can. I uh, I think. I guess we could actually. How's how's your inventory looking? You got you got some space. 6,000 gold coins, oh boy. Just in time. Ooh, this is bad. Ugh, owie. Not getting the turn order we need here. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Don't you just stand back here, my friend. Alright, we can start moving some people up now, I think. We do want to still get that other... That other, um, chest, though. Okay, 15 damage, that's... manageable. And I'm not, not too worried about Yaha here unless Waldo joins in or something, so... Um... Which could be a concern. But I am going to take a risk and just move Diana down here. We'll see if we can get this guy out of here. All right. Uh, you come over. All we got to do here is just a little level one heal. And then I guess... She doesn't really have the range to do what I want her to do, unfortunately. So I'm just going to leave her, like, right there, I think. And then... You can't actually reach anybody, so... I think we move you right about to there, and then we do a big heal... to get him back in the fight here. Still going to need another heal on top of that. That's a start. And then, uh, let's see... You needed a heal, and so does, uh, Hanzo here, so... I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll move you to here. We'll let you do a heal like this, so you, uh, are a little bit farther forward. Ah, balls. <laughs> I was hoping we were going to get away with uh, not getting hit there. So now we might be in some trouble. Deanna could die here. If he's just getting blasted over and over by magic. We are going to finish this guy off, though, hopefully. Oh, shit. Unfortunate. And uh, we are going to come over and attack this guy as well. Well, this is going... Swimmingly. <laughs> it's all falling apart. Okay, there we go. So he's out of here. Level 14. Ooh, This archer is causing me some real problems. <laughs> I think it's fair to say. All right, you... You know what? Let's just try a freeze three and just see what happens. Uh, you know, I guess they're not uh, resistant to freeze magic. I thought they were, because they were undead or whatever. That appears to perhaps not be the case. Now, this is a bit risky, but I think we can justify it. I'm going to get this, this guy out of here. He's going to get healed. 
most likely, before we can do anything else. Um, but... Or what is this? Or level 3. Interesting. Oh, he's an evil bishop. I guess he's a little bit stronger. I guess that makes sense. We definitely need to get him out of here. We definitely need to get you out of here as well. And you have uh, actually shown us a turn of mercy, which is, which is good, because somebody could have easily died there. All right, um, I'm going to move you over. Uh, you know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to leave you right here. We're just going to heal you again. All right, so you've taken a bit of damage. I think we can finagle a, uh, a victory out of this, still. Especially if we move you up like so. Get a, uh, a big heal on you, just in case. Alright, you actually have to get out of here, though. Because uh, otherwise you're going to be, well... We could risk it. We could actually risk it, but I'm not going to. I'm going to have her uh, sit back here and actually use uh, her protect ring, I think. Give us a little boost on some of these guys. We are going to take some damage from Freeze. Ooh, yeah, and that's getting broken now, too. Ooh, level 12. Oh, now she gets Freeze 3. Sure. Uh, okay. I really don't want to be in this configuration, but I feel like maybe we don't have much choice. We just got to get in here and start whacking these guys. This is actually potentially really good, though. Freeze three on these guys. Just need to get one more hit in on that assassin. I guess we could have actually killed them with Natasha. Or if, if we'd used her. Ooh, and we got Bolt, too. That's kind of nice, I guess. And in fact, we could still kill him, but uh, I'm going to finish off this guy first. He's just uh, he's causing too many problems. Okay. I think what you do here is you uh, go ahead and use this. I don't think that this was breaking just yet. So he's out of here. He's out of here. And we got to level up on top of it. Okay. Now what's this? Oh, he's using the light sword. How dare you? I mean, that's actually sort of almost better than Freeze 3. Uh, you can't quite make it, so I'm just going to have you hang back. You, on the other hand... Let's go ahead and get started on this guy. We do need to get that chest still. But I'm hoping maybe Yaha can do that. Ooh, you're going to get smacked. Down he goes. <laughs> oh, 35 damage. Good lord. It's alright though, we're just gonna we're just gonna shoot him. Do whatever we gotta do. To finish up the fight here, 30 damage. That's uh that's a good start. Horse laid. Couldn't quite hang on there. Even with a boost, I think. Actually, no, I guess we didn't boost him quite yet. Alright, um, I don't want to kill him accidentally here, so I'll hit him one more time. Then I think we got to back it off until somebody can get over there and grab that, uh, that, uh, that chest. 
I don't know if this is going to actually hit anybody that needs to be hit, <laughs> but uh, I'm still going to try it. Yeah, not really. Oh, you're so close. So close. Just uh, stand right there. Here we go, okay. Grab the chest. An evil lance. Just getting all the evil gear now. For whatever that's worth. 14 damage. Ooh, the double. We could get him here. But not before he gets to retaliate. Owie. Owie. <laughs> Chester, how's your inventory? Yeah, sure. Do the honors. Blast him out of the sky. <laughs> that one's for Slade. We'll be taking that light sword. Thank you very much. I've been defeated even with all of my power. Whoa, what's happening? I'm melting. Oh, King Warderer, help me. I'm melting. It's the fate of evil to end a life this way. How horrifying. There's little time. We must enter the shrine. Okay, and back to camp we go. All right. So we can get Slade uh, back on his feet here. He is very dead. No shop, though, unfortunately. And, uh, we can also pass over this light sword here to, uh, Diana. We'll, uh, take the dark sword in return, I guess. And then, um, what if we give the dark sword to somebody else? Surely somebody can use it. Claude can use it. Rush and Higgins can both use it. Not that we're gonna, but having, like, somebody who can just cast the soul on a whim doesn't sound so bad. Um, I think, I mean, you've already got magic, so I'm, I'm less worried about you having it. And you have the running ring, so I feel like you don't need it as much. And we could give him... I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll give him the sword. And then we'll give the running ring over to Gyan, maybe? And we'll see how that goes. Because then, that way, you know, Misashi or Rush, whatever, will have... a little bit of a ranged attack that he can, uh, he can use if he doesn't quite make it somewhere. Although, we uh, can't repair it, so there is that to consider as well, I guess, now that I think about it, but... Still, it's there. For a, a dire situation. And then we can have... You actually equip the light sword. At least we've got a critical sword left over. As well, so why don't we give that... To, uh, like, Claude, maybe? Yeah, I think that sounds good. And then, uh, yeah, I think we'll be in pretty good shape. We also have the evil ring, I guess. That we could give over to, uh, to somebody here. If I can find it. There it is. I think... Well, I guess maybe this is only for the, uh, the castery types. Just unfortunate. But, uh, so be it, I guess. Uh, we can give this, give that to Slade, and then we'll, uh give the angel wing to somebody else. But anyway, I'm doing a bunch of inventory management. Uh, <laughs> uh, when we come back, yeah, I guess we're, we're going to finally get in that shrine. And maybe now is the time <laughs> where, where we can finally uh, save Nick. And uh, pull this, uh, this whole thing uh, to a close, or put this whole thing to a close, uh, as far as book two is uh, concerned. <laughs> 